Welcome everyone. We're going to start things off as we always do at the Naval Park. I'm going to ask the docents to uh, call for the colors. Docents. Followed by the Sea Cadets USS the Sullivan's Division. Caps, as we say, the pledge to the flag. Excuse me. Leave the caps. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. everybody, I'm Penny Wolfgang in for Phil Arno. We are here at the Buffalo Naval and Military Park and we have had an opportunity to hear about the grand opening which is taking place right now and today we learned about the COVID restrictions and how you can all come and a lot more about what's going on here during the season and about the capital campaign that is beginning so that they can raise the funds that they need to continue this beautiful historic place so we're going to learn a little bit more about it right now and good morning everyone my name is paul marzello i'm the president and ceo of the buffalo and erie county Naval and Military Park, and I'm delighted to be with you this morning. July 15th, 2020. To some of you, it means your taxes are due. For all of us here today, it marks the excitement of opening day for the 2020 season of the Buffalo and Erie County Naval and Military Park. It has been four months since New York State advised us to roll up our gangways, and batten down the hatches in preparation for the COVID pandemic. Although we are still months away, if not longer, from putting this dreaded virus behind us, our organization has been working diligently on creating a new paradigm for the, Par for the Naval Park that will allow us to welcome the public back while ensuring the health and safety of our visitors, staff, and volunteers, which are our primary concern. Here is a glimpse of some of the practices that, you, that we will enforce on opening day in an effort to limit the opportunity for the transmission of COVID-19. Number one, our days of operation will be limited to Wednesday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We, we will be closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. The last ticket sold daily will be at 4 p.m. Second, Online pre-purchasing of admissions is required for all visitors through our website. Admissions will be limited through time ticketing every half hour. We encourage visitors to arrive 10 to 15 minutes before their scheduled time. Number three, face coverings are required for staff, volunteers, and, volunte and visitors over the age of two in all indoor spaces and aboard the ships. Four, social distancing of six feet between parties will be expected. Floor markers in all queuing areas will be uh, there to remind visitors to maintain a safe distance. Five, attendance will be limited to 10 people every half hour for self-guided main deck only tours. No visitors will be allowed below deck. Six, Hand sanitizers will be available throughout the park. Seven, interactive exhibits that include touch screens have been temporarily turned off. Eight, water fountains will not be available. Visitors can bring their own water or purchase single serve beverages from vending machines or beverage cart vendors. Nine, restrooms will be available on the first floor of the museum building 
where social distancing will be encouraged. Number 10, we ask any visitors who do not feel well, have a fever or other symptoms to please stay home. We will be happy to provide a refund or honor your ticket at a future date. And lastly, all admission prices have been reduced to account for the limited tour routes. So although preparing for this opening day has been a total team effort, I'd like to take a few moments to single out a few individuals. Courtney Speckman, where are you? Courtney, she's our Director of Education. She's done an exceptional job in taking the lead role and making sure that we have met or exceeded all the guidelines set forth by New York State Department of Health. Thank you, Courtney. Shane Stevenson. Our Director of Museum Collections. He has worked extremely hard to prepare a brand new exhibit in a short amount of time. This exciting new exhibit located on the second floor of the museum building focuses on the 75th commemoration of the end of World War II. Several World War II artifacts and interesting stories will show the ties between Western New York veterans and the war effort. Shane is also working with Jim Daly and his company SiteView to introduce a new 360 degree virtual tour of the USS Croker. We're excited to see that. John Moffitt, who I know is not here, he's our lead docent, along with the other docents, have been extremely helpful and cooperative in molding a new educational model to engage the public during these difficult times. The docents will be providing several speaking stations along the deck to answer questions and provide interesting and relevant content to our visitors. As usual, our volunteer landscaping team has done an amazing job throughout this pandemic in beautifying the park grounds and maintaining the gardens and monuments. They've done an amazing job and I welcome you to tour them after the press conference. Special thanks to our corporate season sponsors who have stepped up to support us during this difficult period of time because of our limited revenue. M&T Bank, Keller Chevrolet, Home Depot, Independent Health, Lindy Corp, CalSpan, Gray Line Outdoor Advertising, Gardenville Landscaping, Turf, Turf Tech of Western New York, Buffalo Bills, Abbey Mech Agency. And lastly, 98% of our budget is derived from earned revenue, revenue that comes from admissions, gift shop sales, fantail rentals, and etc. It doesn't take a Harvard economist to figure out how that has impacted our budget. Our board has been totally committed to restoring the opportunity for the public to visit the park as soon as health and safety guidelines were met satisfactorily. And now that we are at that point, they have dedicated their efforts to reestablishing the long-term financial sustainability of the Naval Park in the years ahead. And I would like to commend any of them that are here today. Over here we have our board members, Bill Barden, Bob Pecoraro, John Nussbaum, Mo Nalon. Am I forgetting anybody out there? Thank you very much for your leadership.